my nerd tubers and geek viewers of the world out there, Mr. Dark Phoenix is back with the big green screen with the Holy Trinity somewhere behind there to bring you guys my review of the season premiere of Aiden's The Shield. This is the first time you're catching my channel. Please hit subscribe. I review Game of Thrones, Gotham, Lucifer, Supergirl, The Flash, Aiden's The Shield, Arrow, Legend of Tomorrow, Teen Wolf, we got some Netflix, we got Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and The Defenders on here. We got my Wednesday show where I give you guys opinions and theories. Hot button comic book news with a little sprinkle of reaction videos. One great nerdy circle and one great nerdy channel, guys. Hit subscribe for more awesome nerdy stuff. I also game and stream on Twitch, so if you want to see more of me on a regular basis, follow me on Twitch as well as twitch.tv slash Phoenix. All of my links will be in the crotch bar down below. Hope to see you guys here on YouTube and on Twitch. But if this is the first time you catch my channel, be wary. This is going to be a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen Age of S.H.I.E.L.D. yet, come back when you have. And if you have seen it, let's jump right on in to the newest and first new episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., The Ghost. I ain't no Daddy Yankee was Ghost Rider. Did, I ain't no Daddy Yankee was Ghost Rider. Is that why he got the fancy car and the gasolina? Dalaman gasolina? I have lost most of my Hispanic friends because of that joke. But I say worse when y'all's around. Let's jump right into the ghost for Ace of S.H.I.E.L.D. We pick off where we left off. I think we got a new director now. It is, ironically, Jason O'Mara, which is the voice of Batman in the new DC animated movies. So technically, Batman's running S.H.I.E.L.D. Are you surprised? Because I'm not. The team is separated into a lot of many of things. Uh, so they all do their own separate things as they're separated because we've all seen how they work together. It's not a bad thing. I'm not saying they're a bad team. I'm just saying it's like a group of your most destructive friends when you guys go out on missions. Picture it when like the archer team goes out on a mission. Yeah, they get the, yeah, they get the job done. Some shit blows up. People might be on fire, but your only argument is, but did we die though? But we still got the mission done, right? Okay. So, May's running her own little team, and that's awesome. Coulson gets a brand new hand job. Because why not give him a little detective vision hand? It's gonna be so weird when he, um... Never mind. If you know that joke, then you know it. But if you don't, I don't know what to tell you. Yo-Yo and Mac get some more romantic stuff going on. I gotta say, I do like them together. But I like this far apart thing they've got going on. Because apparently she signed the, 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 the Sokovia thing. The forgettable thing from Civil War that everybody signed. That no one signed. That I think. Besides maybe Tony Stark and Rhodey and Rhodey's spine. And I think Black Widow. But under a large area, anyway. Let's talk about that damn female robot AI that he's got. That if you guys have played Mass Effect, that's totally Edie. It's Edie in her human form. She's like, I don't kill. And he was like, do you know what kind of trouble this gets people into? And he was like, yes, Ultron. Like, yes, Ultron. Because Ultron was a woman in the comics as well. That's female Ultron. I'm scared. I already know it's coming. So that's female Ultron, everybody. Because she's gonna grow into a human being with human thought. And she's gonna kill some people. So... Thanks, Jonathan from the Mummy movies. And the guy from Spartacus, whose name I can't remember because I'm currently mad at you for building female Ultron. Look what you've done. And then we get our first taste of El Ghost Rider. His skull is on fuego. Aye, aye, aye. He's awesome. Robbie Reyes is the Ghost Rider. Everybody's mad it's not Johnny Blaze, but I still think they're saving Johnny for a Netflix series, which can still happen because both him and Robbie Reyes have coincided and existed in the same place. So... A Johnny Blaze Netflix series while Robbie Reyes is on regular TV is really not that far-fetched. And just a fun fact, I didn't know Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. came back this week. My friend Ren kept telling me that it comes back this week, but I kept looking at 8 o'clock. So I was like, okay, he's fucking lying. It doesn't come on at 8 o'clock. I, I didn't know it came on at 10 o'clock. Which, by the way, comes at 10 o'clock now. Now we can get some more blood and gore, which hopefully means we can get some of the Netflix family on here. Because having, having Punisher wander around with a trail of bodies, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. 
they go to Hell's Kitchen for some reason and it's like there's a red dude and a girl with a camera that won't leave us alone and Jessica's like I hate you people I hate all you people drinks anyone wanna go get drunk and Luke Cage is like um I'm too busy to be with you guys I'm on Netflix now so bye go away until my Netflix series is over Ghost Rider was awesome he had really great fights with him and Daisy when he transformed I was like oh Moscow about to become on fire and shit and Daisy's like do it I deserve to die and he's like bitch wear and just walked away and I was like it's gonna be really interesting to see I think way too far ahead like this is only the first episode and I'm already thinking about the end game for him cuz I know he's not gonna be like buddy buddy with the team like he's not gonna be a new agent of shield you know it's like He's gonna be an ally that will show up in a couple episodes to help them out with mystical stuff. Like, now the Ghost Rider's on the show, we could technically delve into, like, mystical stuff, like mysticism. We can slowly go about that route. Now with Doctor Strange coming out soon, we need some more mystic help on TV. So, I would love to see that type of stuff. But all in all, it was a good start to the episode. Daisy's walking around, taking out the banks and all that stuff. That fun, the bad guys. And she's in cahoots with Yo-Yo because it's like... Someone on the inside has got to be on Team Daisy. Like, I would help Daisy, but she ain't called me yet, so. Thanks. You could have called me. You could have hit out right here in the Dark Phoenix cave with my green screen. You imagine me playing games with her on Twitch. But all in all, it was a great episode. I can't wait to see more Ghost Rider. I can't wait to see what else they do and meet the new director of S.H.I.E.L.D., Jason O'Mara. What did you guys think? about this episode, please comment down below let me know. Don't forget to check out all my social media links and my Twitch down the down the crotch bar below. You can follow me on all that stuff and I really love and appreciate it. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, comment and subscribe to their awesome nerdy friends and always remember, have the good times and bad times. Remember geek out and enjoy your lives and I'll catch you guys next time for another great video. Hey guys, thank you always for checking out the end of the video. I really appreciate your help. Uh, if anything, if you can, I have a Patreon website. It is in the description bar below. If you guys don't know, Patreon is a site where you could help creators like me do a lot more with help from pledging and being my Patreon. It's a dollar to thirty dollars. Anything you can give would be amazing. I, if anything, I always appreciate your views, your likes, your shares, your comments, and all that good stuff. Great. It's patreon.com slash Mr. Dark Phoenix. It'll be in the description bar below.